So hello everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I want to be talking about why I'm not a minimalist any longer. I have been for several years and I actually want to talk about why I'm not a minimalist any longer. And this video is just my opinion and your views on minimalism might be different and that's totally right. This is just how I feel. I'm not saying minimalism is bad for everyone, I'm just gonna say it isn't for everyone. It's gonna be the right thing for some people, wrong thing for some people. And that's alright. Please don't leave any hate for me or other people in the comment section because we're all different. We all have different views and that's gonna be talking about why minimalism wasn't for me. And it's totally alright if it's for you. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and I have a paper. I'm gonna read up all. Just see my notes, just so you know, so I might be looking down a lot this video. So I forgot to talk about this point when I was filming, so I'm just gonna talk about it as a voiceover. So what I forgot to talk about was that minimalism often is an aesthetic on YouTube and it's all about this clean look where there's nothing on the surfaces and there's just these bare white walls and I really think it kind of looks like like a clean hospital room it looks boring it doesn't have any personality they don't really have any personality in their home and I really think that's sad but also a lot of minimalists are forgetting to talk enough about that's also really about your mindset and not about your home looking aesthetically pleasing and you buying this really really expensive coffee maker that most people possibly can't afford for me personally minimalism actually equals privilege it's a privilege to be able to be a minimalist. And here I'm not talking about people who are naturally minimalist, like people who are poor. I'm talking about people on YouTube who are privileged, who say quality over quantity. And just the whole thought of being able to buy quality over quantity means that you're privileged. So being privileged in this context is being able to buy quality clothing because so people can't afford that. Also make buying in huge quantities look bad. And a lot of people actually can't afford that. In general, this quote or statement is coming from a place that is pretty privileged because they make it sound like everybody can afford to buy quality clothing. And then most people already buy Clothing in huge quantities. Minimalists on YouTube say things like this a lot, and I really think it's privilege. That's just one of the examples why I think it's privilege to say you're a minimalist. And a lot of people don't have this privilege. I was one of them. I didn't have the privilege to buy quality over quantity. And also, I think the cluttering in the light of minimalism sucks. Of course, we all have some, some mistakes, purchases that we're never gonna use. And then we'll get them to all people, or donate them, or sell them. Most of us have some mistakes, purchases lying around. But beyond that, people mostly have what they need and what they love. And what they actually use. So going into this minimal mindset is actually gonna deprive them in the long run because they're getting rid of things that they actually love and they actually use and that actually brings them joy because they don't have that much stuff to begin with. I think this really goes for a lot of people so you know this ends up depriving you and you end up getting rid of things you regret in the pursuit of having less because when you really get into a minimalistic mindset when you watch a lot of Minimalist on YouTube, you really get into my mindset. I have to get rid of more. I have to get rid of more. Like it's you get into this mindset that it's bad to have too many things, and people judge people on how many things they have. It's crazy. And 
and they judge you if you aren't minimalistic enough and if they think you have too many things. It's just crazy to me. And honestly, I think if you're using something, no matter how often you use it, as long as it brings you joy and actually use it and actually has a purpose, that's good enough. A reason to keep this thing. Please say that out loud. If you have something that you actually use, no matter how many times, and if it's useful for you, and it brings you joy, keep it. You don't have to get rid of it. I know when you're in this mindset of minimalism, you just think you have to get rid of more and more and more because the goal is to have less and less things. It gets like, it's like a high that you have to get rid of more and more things. And you see all these declutters and feel like you have to declutter something. No, don't get rid of stuff you actually use, no matter how often, and it will bring you joy. Please don't, just don't get rid of it. I know this works for some people, I think there's also a majority, not a majority, but there's a good amount of people who will regret getting rid of stuff because they're on this minimalism high, watching minimalist videos on YouTube. You might regret it. And you might end up depriving yourself. Please don't fall into the rabbit hole that I did. Because I really regret it. Honestly, minimalism turned toxic to me. Honestly, minimalism brought me regret and I ended up feeling deprived because I got rid of things I really... I actually did use and I actually did enjoy. For example, I like to have plates for guests on birthdays for maybe six guests or something. I like to have plates enough for them and cutlery enough for them. For me it really would just suck only have one plate per person. It just that doesn't work for me. I know it works for some people. For me I just think it's really depriving you. Especially because then you have to wash the dishes all the time. Every time you have used something because you don't have another clean plate to use because you only have one of everything for each person in the household me personally that, that that just really sucks that would really that wouldn't work for me i'd rather just only have to take the dishes like one once every day and not multiple times a day because you only have one of everything and i'm also just gonna say i would i was already a person that sold things that I actually never used and that didn't bring me any joy. I got rid of these small amount of mistake per purchases that I had. So I really think minimalism is for the people who really like living with less stuff. There are, there are of course some of them out there, but the majority of the time I think it's also really for people who are harder of people who have problems just buying a lot of mistake purchases or who have who are shopping addicts i think it's mostly for these kind of people because normal people don't have a lot of things they don't use or at least i don't think of course there are some that have a lot of things they don't use i'm not saying everyone doesn't have that but there's still an amount of people that just don't have really a lot of mistake purchases and things they don't use because they might not be privileged enough to have that. And I'm one of those people. And honestly, minimalism got me into this mindset where owning too many things was bad and that having less and less was the goal. So th this is kind of where I think it becomes toxic, but also toxic, but also the minimalist society, you could say, on you to just really hardcore judging each other for how they live their minimalist life and if they have too much stuff and all that and if they buy quantity or quality they're also really gonna be judged this is a problem because some people really don't have the money and the privilege to buy quality or quantity and some people really don't have the money to not buy fast fashion That's just how it is. It's really privilege. It's 
minimalism is a lifestyle that includes both your way of thinking and living and your home and your possessions. Minimalism is an extreme lifestyle that includes all part of your life. And there are a set of rules you have to follow. There's expectations from the minimalism society here on YouTube. And if you don't follow them, you'll be ridiculed and you won't have the right to call yourself a minimalist. Or at least you won't have the right in their opinion. And this is kind of the side of minimalism that I really think is toxic. side where you have to be good enough in other people's opinion. And it isn't about how you see minimalism as yourself, which it should be about, but sadly it isn't for a lot of people in the minimalism society on YouTube. And sadly it's also become more and more about just owning less and less possessions. It's like they almost demonize possessions in some way. And I think this is really wrong because they should be focused more on a person's mindset and not how many things they have. Uh, yes, of course, things you have surrounding you can affect you, but mainly your mindset is like the most important thing. And a life view, it's almost like they think everyone has extremely many possessions they never use. And it's kind of this privileged perspective that they have on most people that they can afford to have many things they never use. So. That's kind of the part of minimalism I think is, is toxic. For me personally, I think the most important thing is finding balance. For me personally, minimalism is an extreme, just like maximalism is an extreme to me. And I don't like extremes. I think we really have to find balance somewhere between these two extremes. And I think that the balance is what works for most people. I will take the advice I can use and discard of the risk. And maximalism and minimalism both have usual advice. But when I started to put myself into the box of being a minimalist, things turned bad for me. I stopped following other people's advice religiously and I stopped only taking the advice that resonated with me. And that's kind of where I turned bad for me. All around the point of this video was the minimalism isn't for everyone. If it's for you, great. This is just my experience and this is just my experience for, from being a minimalist for a couple of years. And if you like being a minimalist or it's the right lifestyle, lifestyle for you, go ahead with it. But honestly, I think it's really important that we talk about the bad sides too. If you're a person like me, you should I don't think it's a good idea to get down into this rabbit hole called minimalism get, and depriving yourself and getting rid of a lot of stuff that you will regret. But if you are another person, it might work for you. Again, do you. You do you. Um, so yeah, that's just one I want to talk about. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. And again, it wasn't a lot of minimalism or maximalism. You do you just my experience. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you comment, like and subscribe down below. Maybe minimalism wasn't something for you either. And you can comment down below why minimalism is for you, why it isn't for you. Or if you're like me and just want to find balance and not be a, at either extremes, uh, not be a minimalist or maximalist, just find a balance that works for you. Somewhere in between you could say. Or just taking the advice that resonates with you from each extremes and doing you. You know, it's the best thing is doing what works for you. So anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon.